Hello, so this video is going to go over how to create self-deleting posts or images, kind of like on Instagram or WhatsApp stories or Snapchat, where everything you post is deleted within 24 hours, or maybe within a time frame that you as the user choose. So here we just have some upload button or post button you use to create a new post. So we go over to this one, and this is where we will add the scheduled workflow. So first, just looking at the first step, we just create a new post with the image of the picture uploader, and we save that post to the user's list of posts, and we reset the inputs. And now we will need an API workflow. So you need to have a paid bubble account to do this, and you need an enable workflow API and backend workflow. You need the check mark here. You go over to backend workflows, and you create a new API endpoint by clicking the empty box. And we call it automatic delete. And we tell this API workflow to expect a post because a post is what we're creating, and this is also what we want to delete. And it's just a singular post. And then we just select delete thing and we delete the post that has been sent to the backend. So now we have to complete the circle and actually select this API workflow when the upload button is clicked. So as the last step. Underneath custom events, we select schedule API workflow and select automatic delete. And the scheduled date is current date time. We can do, you know, plus 30 seconds or, for example, plus hour 24, like on Snapchat initially. And another actually way to do it is to actually make this an input the user can change. So you can have slider inputs value. So something which is changing for each user. And the post to select is the result of step one. So what we created in step one is what we eventually want to delete. And that's already it. So it creates a post when we click upload, saves it to the user, and then in step four, it automatically deletes this after the current date time plus hours how much the person has selected in the slider. OK, but this actually completely deletes it from the database. So another way. Another option, instead of actually deleting it, we could, for example, make changes to the current user and actually just remove this post from the current user's list of posts. And maybe we even have another field called deleted posts, also a list of posts, which adds this post. So therefore, it doesn't completely delete it, but just removes it from that list. And that list is also what we're displaying here on the initial app, which is just current users posts image. So it's not, no longer in this list. So it will no longer be shown, for example, in the repeating group of the story section. OK, this uh, video helped you. And I wish you happy holidays. Cheers.